It's week two of Race Up Flambe Live. Let's go after it. I still did the same, almost the same thing I control all over again. It, it was just definitely a who knows what is going on there thing. But anyway, I'm Eric Diego. Welcome to Race Up Flambe Live. A little bit of technical difficulties because I left the microphone muted. I really should just, you know, pay attention to what's going on and all this stuff. But there's like 12 different buttons to press. <laughs> anyway, today we're making orange chicken. Uh, earlier this week, we posted online the ingredients you need for this. I've prepped some of it behind me. As in prepped, I pulled it out. So I'm not smashing pots around like last week. Because last week I was really, really, really loud. Um, and today, though, because um, last week I didn't have anything. I feel like I need a cocktail. I'm just going to actually not make a cocktail. I'm just have some wine. Because, you know, why not? It is Friday. And it's 5 o'clock someplace. Well, are we doing My Drunk Kitchen now? Or... Uh, I don't think it's my drunk kitchen. I mean, I'm not going to get drunk, hopefully. I mean, I've had some food today. Not a whole ton of food, but it should be fine. We'll see. <laughs> um, so, yeah, today we are making orange chicken here on the show. Uh, we're going to be starting off by making rice. I'm going to be starting off by making brown rice because I like brown rice better than white rice, and it takes a little bit longer. If you're going to be making rice along with this at home and you're making white rice, you may want to wait a little bit. Uh, until we get that started. So let's actually get going on that. Cause if, actually, I'm going to have a sip of wine first. Let me do that. Mm. Oh, there we go. I also fixed the technical issue that I had last week, which was the fact I was hearing all the feedback in my ear. And it's causing a speech jammer effect. This week, I don't have that. So hopefully, I don't stumble over too many words. If I do, I'll blame the wine. How about that? Does that sound good, Josie? Uh, Sure. <laughs> Okay. Um, I also have a new set for a B camera. Let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. It kind of works. It's a little bit laggy right now. It will probably speed up here as soon as I unplug it and move it around. Let's see. There we go. New camera. It's still herky jerky. Let me uh, restart. Maybe that's what it needs to do. Put a restart. How about that? All right. So I can hear both of us. Oh, I was say, what was like that? Why am I hearing a repeat of of it? Because uh, I was actually checking the audio this time. <laughs> oh, okay. You're checking audio. This camera is still laggy. I don't know what it is. Let me reboot the application because that is definitely going to be an issue in my opinion. I just... I guess it's the problem with laying run for... Oh, shucks. Intro is still running. There we go. Man. I'm glad I'm not doing this professionally as a live streaming thing because there's 50 billion things yeah. on this that have gone wrong. Anyway, you gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere, yes. And honestly, if it wasn't quarantine and we did decide to do this on a regular basis, I could have someone here to help out, like you, Josie, or Jeff, you know, or someone I'm else. You know, I volunteered to break the law. Yeah, and I said, no, you don't have to break the law for this. Yeah. How's Josie going live? What? <laughs> Jeff asked, how is Josie going live? Oh, uh, oh, is he in the chat? No, he no, asked... No, he's not. He asked it on uh, the Facebook post. Like, how is Josie going live? Because we all know that your internet's, like, way too slow for that to actually happen. Luckily, Discord works and works fairly yeah, well man. enough for the entire, you know, aspects um, of the show. Oh. So I'm going to go... Let me relaunch the camera app. I didn't get that message. He, oh, wrong group. Nope. No, it's not on Messenger. It's oh, okay, on my yeah, Facebook off. post itself. Yeah. Okay, so Sorry, hopefully I now. Link to them. Hopefully now. There we go. It is kind of working. It's going to go slow, I guess. Um, so I'm going to make some uh, rice in this pan right here. I guess I could go back to this one. And I did disable all the other overlays, so we won't be getting a duplicate intro again. Uh, so I'm making about a cup of rice. I'm going to need about two cups of water. I think it's actually a little bit over for brown rice, if I'm correct, right, Josie? Um, yeah. I think it's like two and a quarter, actually. Casey has something to do with, like, One cup fingers. of rice, two and a half. Fingers? What are you yeah. talking about? You, like, measure from, like, the bottom of the oh. pot. Oh! Oh yeah, I've heard that one where you measure from the bottom of the pot. It's like one length of the finger between, I think, the bottom of the pot like, or the bottom like of the rice. It's like your like, yeah. First knuckle. 
Yeah, and then you do the same amount of water or something. I don't know. It doesn't sound very scientific to me. I've actually heard one of my old co-workers talk about it that way, actually. Um, she said to basically do that method because it just adds... Um, oh, I guess it's... It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound very unscientific, and my hair is going all over my face. That is you the know best what I part do? of this entire thing. What? I take two measuring cups of rice. Nope, three. Okay. Put it in the rice maker, and then fill it up to the line that says three. Yeah, that is definitely and, a way easier solution to make rice with. And, and then I would I be add using a little rice maker. Salt. I would be using a rice maker for this, but I don't have a rice maker. Um. Yeah. I think there's one on my wedding registry, but I don't have a physical rice maker right now, so. You also really don't matter. have a wedding. Yeah, that's like right now, yes. Right now, the uh, coronavirus has definitely postponed everything. Um, and that's kind of the reason why we're doing the show, just to give it an extra, you know, you might be at home eating the same exact meal over and over and over again, and maybe you haven't had much contact with people. I live here by myself. I occasionally see people who come stop by just to pick up stuff. Jeff, for instance, earlier came by and picked up some uh, lawn equipment and mowed my lawn at the same time. Uh, even though I to it. basically hide out in my room. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to actually start my rice here. I'm going to bring this to a boil, and as that gets going to a boil, uh, the first thing we're actually going to make for the orange chicken itself is the sauce for this. So basically, uh, for that we're going to need... Oh, I feel like we're falling back into old habits. For that we're going to need... Uh, chicken breast, which is uh, going to be it for the chicken itself. We're going to need flour, cornstarch. Both those are going to be used for breading the chicken, as well as the eggs to help adhere it. Uh, to fry it, we're going to be using canola oil. Uh, actually, I'm going to be using corn oil, because I actually have corn oil, which I actually like better for frying than canola oil. Uh, I, you're going to need at least one navel orange. If you're planning to juice the oranges for the juice, instead of actually using orange juice, you'll probably need two or three to get up to about a cup. Um, sesame oil, some ginger root. I'm using ground ginger because... For the life of me, I cannot get ginger root delivered, nor can I get it uh, shipped, not shipped, <laughs> but like picked up at the Safeway. Like no one has ginger root right now. I don't know what that is. Why are you laughing, um, Josie? Well, because my mom bought a thing of ginger from Costco. Uh huh. And so she bought like a bunch, and then she made crystallized ginger. Okay. And then she put it in the oven to dry. Oh, and then and you turned on the oven my... next day. Yeah. Jeff is but, asking, where's the cat? S'mores is asleep, Jeff. She is asleep in a suitcase. Maybe um, I could get the other camera up and go in at some point, and we could go over there and hunt her down. Uh, but it actually kind of tastes better. <laughs> it like almost like caramelized it, it a it little caramelized bit. Caramelized it? Okay. Did you? Uh, okay, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, we're also gonna need some garlic, some soy sauce, red wine, uh, rice wine vinegar, sugar, red pepper flakes. One of the other things I kind of get. Luckily, I have here, you know, some red pepper flakes from a pizza shop. Why not? That, that works perfectly fine. I'm going to use about two packs of it for this. Uh, green onion, and then the serving side, the serving suggestion, side serving suggestion is white rice or brown rice, which is what I've already started over here. I'm waiting for that to come to a boil. Uh, so let's actually reset back up camera B because I pulled it down. Let's hope that the app is a little bit more responsive to me now. Push it back up on its little thing here. Let's see. There we go. Oh, look, it's actually running a little bit smoother now. I guess this took some time. Uh, let's get going on the sauce. I'm going to pull out my cutting board here. Just at the pond top of this. I won't be able to see it, but I'll, I'll hold it up at an angle, hopefully. Uh, to this pot, I'm going to end up adding some sesame oil. Now, this might seem a little familiar. If you watched the ramen episode of Race at Flambe um, back in 2017, that was the summer season in 2017, I believe, and I made ramen. And this base is going to start off like the ramen recipe. I'm going to add a little bit of sesame soil to the pot, let that warm up. I'm going to throw into it the ginger and the garlic, uh, let that get a little bit brown and some nice fragrantness out of it. So about 30 seconds to a minute it'll take. Then I'm going to add into it um, some rice wine and vinegar. Uh, that will deglaze it a little bit of it, as well as add some acidity to it. Then we're going to add into it the orange zest and the orange juice, a little bit of sugar, and maybe a little bit of water if it's too thick. Um, 
But before I start pouring all this stuff in here, I actually do want to prep everything because this is going to go pretty fast compared to, uh, well, me being able to measure everything. I don't want anything to burn. Last year, I did have that issue. Or not last year, last week I had that issue. Oh, and Josie's now looking for, are you looking for Skylar, Josie, in chat? Yeah. <laughs> not Kaylee, you're looking for Skylar? Kaylee's not my best friend. She's my friend of me. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to use some uh, minced garlic. I did actually have full garlic cloves in a big giant bag. I went to pull them out for the episode, and they were molted. So those went to the trash can. And the only thing I get is this uh, chopped ginger in a jar instead of ginger root itself. Um, this saves a little time. Mint. One more time. Pretty sure it's minced. What's well, this chopped? Do you want me to hold it up to the camera so you can read it? Chopped ginger. Weird. You'll see that in like 20 seconds when you're actually catching up to the it's actual live thing that's going on. Um, well, the thing is, this isn't just ginger. It's ginger and like some sugar cane. So it ha it's not exactly pure ginger, which is what makes me a little bit sad about this. Um, and that's why I'm probably not going to put as much uh, like sugar into it. But this should work perfectly fine. Um, it does actually help out in the long run, I guess, for the fact that I will not have to take my... It's not a box grater. What would you call that? I guess it's my cheese grater. That would don't have to go sh you know back and forth on. But the only thing I have to do that to this time that's is... Right? Well, eh, I would call it. I mean, it's my normal, normal red cheese grater. It has the little fine, smaller parts on it, and that's what I have to use for ginger. But instead, all I have to use it for now is the zest of the orange. The first thing we're gonna do is zest this orange right here. So let me see if this goes back to here. Oh, look at that! Camera's still working fine. So I'm just gonna zest all the zest off this orange. Remember, just like last week when we zest fruit. We just want the top layer of it. We don't want the white pit underneath it. That'll add some bitterness to this that will not actually be good eats for this. So instead, I'm just gonna get the top layer. Um, likewise, I said in the very intro of this, you can use the orange juice itself from this orange to make your sauce. I do not own a citrus press. Um, and that's a problem, because I will need a citrus press to press this, and I don't want to get it all over my hands and everything. And yes, uh, by the way, I did wash the orange before I started zesting this. I did it off camera. You should do the same thing. Just forgot to say that. Um, you should uh came to my house and borrowed my juicer. Do you guys still have that big giant citrus press? How do you think we make pomegranate jelly? I just I just knew it was on used to be on your guys' counter. I remember, I don't think it was actually ever in the background of a shot for Race of Flambe, but I remember, I remember Moving using it, it for, it was, oh, it's heavy. It is definitely heavy. Yeah. I remember how heavy it was. Well, yeah, it's like industrial. It's, um, it's a yeah. good industrial state, so I liked it. Yeah, that's how my mom chooses pomegranate. Okay, so you just put the whole pomegranate, push it down, and then all the... Whatever. In half. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Okay, obviously. Like you, cut it in half. Sorry. Yeah. I forgot a step. You have to cut it in half, yes. Because um, yeah. if you don't, then I guess it wouldn't really juicy. You'd just be creating a big giant mess as it explodes out the sides. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go back over here. So I'm going to put into this pot here about, about a tablespoon of sesame oil. Can't really see it on camera. Bring it up to the camera a little bit. See it goes sitting down there. I'll put this on the oven over here. Oven? Stove top? Jeez. I'm going to turn this on to like a medium low heat. Meanwhile, I'm going to add to it the ginger, which is this ginger itself is more of like a, I wouldn't call it chopped. I would call this more of like a paste, uh, which is really weird. Oh, chef hat haired, Bob was saying. Yes. Oh. My hair is crazy. I, I get that. This is quarantine hair. Um, I didn't He's actually not do like. to go to the closed barber shops. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so illegal I, barber shops. So my hair is going all over the place. Last week I did put um, product in it, just to kind of hold it in place. But I used so much of it last week just to keep it there. This week I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to bother with it this time because it is everywhere, and I'm the only one eating this right now. So I don't expect to find any hair in it, but we'll. Hopefully not. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I, I'm probably going to find more cat hair in it than anything else, honestly. 
So I'm gonna add to the pot, eh, probably like a probably like half teaspoon of the ginger. And then I'm also gonna add to it about a tablespoon, maybe a little under a tablespoon of garlic. Uh, I would use probably, if I was doing this um, with regular fresh garlic, about two cloves to get. So that's basically what you want to aim for. And now we're going to let this get warm, get fragrant. And then once it's fragrant, we will then add in the orange zest and we'll deglaze the pan with the uh, rice wine vinegar. My rice has come to a boil. I'm now going to cover this. Drop the simmer down. I'll use this timer up here. I'll sit for, check in about 30 minutes. Probably gonna take about 40 minutes to actually get done, but we will see. Okay, so, put that heat up. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. And, why not, let's take a sip of wine. <laughs> get this weekend going. Like I said, it's five o'clock someplace. I mean, I guess it's five o'clock in the Rocky Mountains, but it's close enough to five o'clock here in Pacific time zone. start smelling already the uh, smell of the ginger and the garlic starting to fragrate the fragrance of it coming out of the pot. So like I said, I want to get this at least sizz sizzling a little bit, get the scent out of it, the flavor coming through. Uh, and then once we're done doing that, we're going to add in some orange juice, the orange zest itself. Um, and the vinegar, the rice wine vinegar. Mm, brand new, just open up the cracked seal on it. Here's something ringing in the background, Jez, is that from your computer? <laughs> no. Oh, it's some interference I guess happening in some place. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit, I guess the a little low. I had it about medium low. I'm actually gonna crank up to a medium just to get this going a little bit because it takes some time and time is one of those things that I'm trying to knock this episode out in like an hour and a half because uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, Jeff says, can I order takeout? Honestly, Jeff, if you showed up a little later today, you probably would have had the ability to have sporn chicken. Obviously, I know you had Skylar and Kaylee go to, but, but I could order takeout, but he got to deliver. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> if, if I was coming out there, I am actually probably going to make enough um, here for a couple of servings because I love orange chicken. I mean, I guess I could say I specifically like orange chicken from Panda Express. Um, I remember in my wait, late teens, early 20s going there and just like getting the large container of that and having that for like three meals. Um, you want a snow cone, Josie? <laughs> Why do yeah. you want a snow cone? <laughs> it's freaking hot. Okay, you are, you are inland more than I am, obviously, uh, compared to here. I mean, it is about, I think the forecast here is 97 today. I think it actually is supposed to get to like 95 in actual uh, in actuality. We will see. Um, it is warm. Mine is 95 right now, but it was higher earlier. Yeah, don't. The heat of the day is about this time it happens, so. Okay, so now that my pot's starting to sizzle a little bit, um, I can smell the sesame oil as well as the ginger and garlic. I'm going to actually add to it now this orange zest. Pull everything off this. Why would you ever, yeah. Get that out of the way. Get a little more toasted flavor to it. Obviously not that burning it. Ah, oh, it smells good. It smells like it smells like orange sauce. Who who to thunk that it smells like orange sauce in here, right? Uh, I lost the rice vinegar. Let's get this good one. So, I don't know if you can hear this over the audio, but you might be able to hear some of the sizzling going on over here. 
I don't know if I hear sizzling or static. That's sad. Sizzling. That's sizzling. <laughs> I just held up the microphone. Just give it a little extra, uh, so you can hear it. Okay, so I'm going to add into this probably about a quarter cup, maybe a bit less, of the rice vinegar here. Just eyeballing it, really, because unlike the rest of it, um, the rest of the recipes, I have actually had the rice sizzling over. Uh, unlike the rest of the recipes we usually do on the show, this one I didn't actually pre-make. This is just being made off the spot. I just know what goes in it. Uh, I know what order I want to do things in and then drill down to the flavors. And if this doesn't taste right at the end of it, I could add a little bit more to add some acidity to it. Okay, so it's coming back a little to a boil now. I'm gonna add in about a cup of orange juice. I'm using Florida natural juice here. I'm using this because it's 100% uh, orange juice. It doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup or anything added to it, according to the instruction, or not the instructions, but the ingredients on the back end. It does say no sugar added. Um, obviously if I was adding sugar, it had sugar in this, and adding sugar into this sauce to get a little bit of sweetness would be a little overkill. So um, obviously if you're not using 100% natural juice, you may want to be a little bit cautious how much sugar you're going to add into this in a little bit. Measure out about a cup. And yes, I'm doing this backwards. Look at it see through. <laughs> okay. Orange juice. Ooh, it smells tangy here for the rice wine vinegar. Smell the orange in the air. The last thing I'm gonna add to this is probably about a quarter cup to a half cup of sugar. Um, I'm gonna start with a quarter cup, let it dissolve. If it needs more a little bit later on, I'll add more. We're also gonna add eventually to this a cornstarch slurry to help thicken it up a little bit. Uh, that is definitely something we might have to go in there because it's not gonna get thick. And I don't want a runny sauce over it. I want more of a thickened sauce so it sticks to the chicken when it gets that step, which will be after we finish making this sauce. So you've made orange chicken before, Josie, right? Yeah. Uh, did you follow any specific recipes or did you come up with your own as you, as you uh, um, made it? I used America's Test Kitchen recipe. Okay. Makes sense. Because um, we have a stupid fat cookbook from them. I have a cookbook of theirs as well. It is... Probably not as big as the one you have. I do have one that is my brother and his wife gave me. Hair's everywhere. Oh, the mistaken brothers are here. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I didn't even know Jeff had access to that account to log in and say hi. <laughs> that is weird. I did. <laughs> that is definitely weird. Um, anyways, <laughs> I guess I'm saying hi to myself and other channels. I, I don't get that. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it works out, I guess. Anyway, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I would say my hair is getting everywhere. That's just expected. It is very long. That's why it's getting you know, everywhere. I'm going to wash my hands real quickly here. Let's see how long it takes attic. Takes what? Yeah, you gave me a A-T-I-C. Apparently Jeff doesn't know how to spell your name. Oh. Let's see how long it takes, Attic. Yeah, you gave me access. Okay, I know I gave you access to it. I I honestly can't remember giving access to whatever. They're, everyone, I think, do you even have access to Race Race Up on Bay, Josie? Did I give you access? Nope. You have a miniature nope. privilege, though. Yeah, you have, well, you, you gave me mod. Or moderate privilege, that's right. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, cut out there. Okay, I was making sure my the tablet, because this is running off of the tablet, didn't die. Uh, anyway, right now I'm going to bring yeah. up my orange sauce to a boil. Now once it comes up to a boil and the sugars dissolve, I'll give it a little bit of a taste to see if the flavor is right or not. Um, then I'm about to move to another burner so I can start heating up the oil for the chicken and then we'll start prepping the chicken. What else is going on in chat right now? Jeff says oh, he... Jeff apparently is typing fast. 
Yes. Also, is Jeff done being a teacher for the day? We will see what he what he says. I guess I could do this. I could bring over the B cam, which hopefully isn't going slow. We will see. Oh, it's going definitely a little bit slow, but here's the sauce. It's a boil. It's good. I wish there was such thing as smell vision because you can smell this and it's like, ah, oh, this is smell of it. So it's really good. <laughs> Jeff says, hey, the mistaken brothers. <laughs> and Bob listens to music. He hears music. Oh, in the back. Yeah. yeah, there is music playing in the background. There is definitely music playing in the background. Um, it's probably not that Oops. loud. It, it should be like a negative number. You shouldn't hear too loud. And it's all the music we've used in previous videos of Race of Flambe on there. Oh, yeah, I hear it. So. Um. The camera back to where it was at. Yeah, it's back there. It is frozen. Oh, no, it's not frozen anymore. Okay, so this is up to a boil. I'm going to drop this down to a simmer now. This. This. And let it simmer for a bit. I will let that temperature go down before I try it, because I don't want to burn my mouth on this at all. Um, in the meantime, I'm actually going to start switching around some of these pots. So uh, I'm going to move the rice. Let's see how it's going. It's bubbling away. Mm -hmm. It may not be done before the end of the episode. We will see. If not, I'll just eat it afterwards. Oh. Jeff says he hasn't even started being a teacher yet today. Ah. Well, that's a problem, I guess. I mean, uh, how much more school does the, does everyone have right now? I know that a lot of people are doing homeschool now because of COVID and everything. It's like I said, one of the reasons why we're doing the show, just to give people an option to, you know, cook alongside us. If you had all the ingredients at home, you could easily do this. I'm trying to give it step by step. Obviously, there's some distractions happening, but good distractions. It's communication, it's talking, and it's one of the things that we kind of need to do, especially when you're at home by yourself, possibly like I am. You kind of want to, you know, talk with someone else or just have someone on the line just to chat with, just to keep your sanity going, I guess, right? Yeah. And one of the ways I figured like that would be a good way to do it is do this these live streams. Uh. K has until mid June. Ugh. Yeah. Um, also, I heard Vaca High was picking up their caps and gowns today. Are they doing like a, I heard someplace in I think it was LA is moved theirs to like late August or something like that or early August. <laughs> or is Vaca High doing the same thing? I don't. They don't have plans yet, but they had all the stuff, and I guess they had all the teachers in the parking lot. And they like decorated cars and stuff. Uh huh. So they kind of made picking up their caps and gowns fun. But also, is that why, Jeff, is that why uh, Kaylee doesn't have her phone? Oh, you think she's hanging out watching this, keeps the live stream going? <laughs> no, because she said, he said, you also don't want to know how far behind she is. Oh. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out the chicken from the fridge. I'm gonna be preparing two breasts, two breasts for this. Uh, I'm preparing two. Normally I do about one per person. Uh, I'm doing two because I want leftovers for tomorrow. I really want leftovers for tomorrow. That's that's one of the reasons I'm doing this. Is I just want leftovers for it. I mean, oh, crap. so many good things you could do with it. Huh. Anyway, I'm gonna pull. There the we go. Well, were you? You weren't. There, Josie, were you when we did a... Uh, well, you weren't there, but you saw when Jeff and I did, quite a few years ago, the fast food mashup video, the first one? Yeah, I was well, I was saying something about that the other day. How orange chicken and crunch wrap? Yeah. How they weirdly go together really well. Yeah, no, I was telling somebody to... That we should do that, and I just don't remember... Who? Who? I know we talked about it. No, not that long she's ago. like thirty-nine lessons behind. Okay, that's that's a lot. Jeff want mashup. I want mashed potato tacos. I was actually thinking about those, uh, making those pretty recently. I still have a few potatoes left over. I think one of my favorite things to cook right now is 
you know, we've always talked about this, Josie, how a um, air fryer is just really a convection oven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm basically doing, like, air frying, the quotes around that, in my oven. Because it's a convection oven, so why not? So I've been making, like, uh, I've been taking potatoes and wed- cutting them into wedges. I put maybe some different seasonings on there, some garlic powder, some uh, paprika, different flavors, basically. Throw them in the oven at, like, 425 for, like, I think it's, like, 18 minutes, flipping about halfway through. And it comes out with these really, really delicious fries. Like, if I could pull out uh, a camera, a photo of it, I would show you the... I think we titled it, after I showed you, Josie, the fully loaded mat, the fully loaded baked potato nacho fries? I think that's what we called them. Jeff wants to do videos and mashed potato tacos. Uh, we could do live streams, Jeff. We could do live streams. I mean, if you go get something like... Ah, it's Tabletop the simulator. There you go, Josie said it for where we could play board games remotely. I've been doing... Me and uh, Eric have been streaming so much. Yes, about two to three hours usually when we do streams on Twitch, which is the other thing I do, uh, which is not on YouTube. I do Twitch itself, and it's underneath my player name, Crosser TKC on Twitch, which I do. I I want to do that more often. Uh, I'll just don't get to do it that often. I think we've done it usually like on average once or twice a week, maybe. Right, right Josie? We'll play games. Yeah. Yeah. And we've played quite a few games on that. We played. Plague Inc., which is a computer game, but they turned into a board game. We've played Mansions of Madness, which is a very fun game we've played. Uh, uh, Dead of Winter. Dead of Winter we just played last week. We played Pandemic COVID-19, which is a customized version of Pandemic, which has stories that go along with what COVID-19 is. So it kind of intriguing if you know where it starts and how it's spread. You kind of prep certain areas and regions of the world map to prevent from spreading as much. We still lost, however, though. We lost on Outbreak, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. Um, which is dumb, because we, like, knew where we should have been. But, um, also, we played Codenames. Yes, we played Codenames the other day. We lost four rounds of it. One of them we lost on the first turn. I said a word that was completely no, the word I that was bad. I said a word. Oh, well, you yeah. said a word. I, I guessed the, the word. You get the clue, then, I guessed the word, and it was bad. Yeah. Where is my because nice knife? I apparently didn't read all the words. <laughs> I went, oh, that's a word I should not say. So I don't yes. even want to know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like how, you know, I, I was thinking about this the other day when I was uh, cleaning my knife here. I've had this knife for many years. I like how we were using the knives, the household knives, when we were doing our stuff here. Likewise, we had your knife set here for the longest time, and we're still using... The household knives, which aren't here anymore. I think they got trashed, but they were yeah. using those knives that were not the world's greatest knives. I love this knife. Even though it's like a $20 knife that I picked up at uh, Safeway, it is been really well. works really well. I like yeah. the weight my of it. Dad, it's a good, a good weight to it, like I said. My dad loves my knives. Really? Well, I mean, they're good knives. I mean, they were not yeah. cheap either when you did the culinary thing, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they were like 100 bucks or something. Yeah, I mean... For what? Four knives? Five knives? Yeah. And a peeler. Guess, and a hone. I guess it was probably about the same cost as this. This was about a $20 knife, like I said, from Safeway, yeah. which I love. I got it. Ooh. I got this in October of 2015, I think, actually. Uh, oh. I use it very rarely. I mean, I've been using it more since I don't have knives here, but. I definitely like using it. So I am going to switch over to this camera. Ooh, it's running low, slow. Well, we're going to have to live with the slowness of the camera. Uh, I'm going to cut two of these chicken breasts here. Um, I'm going to put the other one in the freezer because it's a use by freeze day. Use by or freeze today. Um, so let me. I can't press buttons. I can't press buttons. It's the wrong button. I can press that button. I couldn't press buttons while. Well having a chicken in hand here. So I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to put this last breast into a Ziploc bag and throw in the freezer just so it is good to go. Um, we're going to cut these up into a little bit smaller pieces than I did last week. Last week we did about an inch by an inch cubes. Um, I'm probably going to do about three quarters of an inch. I don't want them too large. Uh, I felt like actually last week after 
cooking the chicken and eating the chicken and having leftovers if the chicken was way too big, I felt like. I want more bite-sized pieces than two or three bites <laughs> to finish them off. Um, that's kind of the things I want to do here. So we're going to definitely do it differently this time. Let me get this chicken away though. I'll put it back in its too big of a bag. It's a smaller bag. Of course, myself have to wash my hands again. But like I said last week, it's never bad to wash your hands constantly, especially when the pandemic's going on. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll go out and check the mailbox, walk back in the house, and then wash my hands. Yeah. I had people. I, wanna... I had people drop off a new dishwasher today because my dishwasher was I horrible. I just now got here. Uh, well, no, so I, long story on this one, I ordered a dishwasher from a big box store, uh, as a shorter name, <laughs> the last name, uh, and they delivered it and it was damaged. And they took it back after a month of it sitting in my house. They gave me a refund for it. Still haven't given me a refund for the service contract I bought on it. Uh, I'm still trying to get in contact with someone there, but they don't answer the phones there ever. Uh, at the store, that is. The main corporate line answers it, but they have no clue that it got returned because it's not in their system anywhere. So I don't know how that worked out. <laughs> uh, so they were doing sales from a different uh, big box store. Kind of has an orange color. And they delivered it today, this morning, really early. Oh, it only took them four days to deliver it. The other one took 14 days. It was supposed to be 14 days. It took actually 21, actually. I guess that's the right, the right value for that. So let's just say I now have a dishwasher again. It's not installed, but I have a dishwasher. <laughs> Yay! I mean, I've been making out with, you know, using a dish rack. I actually enjoy doing dishes by hand, especially when there's so few of them. I'm waiting for Jeff to say something on that one. <laughs> I know he's going to say something on that one. I don't know. He hasn't said anything in a while. Uh, well, I think he's still hanging out in the chat. Um, yeah. Let's stir the orange sauce again. I'm going to actually give it a taste now before I cut this chicken because it is... Hold it to the camera here if I can. You can kind of see it. Let me go to this camera. This camera might be better. There you go. It... Camera's going a little slow still. Uh. Brown rice is cooking. It may be done by the end of the episode. We will see. <laughs> Probably should have started right before I had to go live button, but oh well, I didn't. Oh. And s'mores is whining Jeff, a little. Give me a second. Misses, Jeff misses a dishwasher. <sighs> Cat one in window. Okay, we're done there. Let me go back over to this camera, which I know is going to be herky jerky slow, but I'm going to at least show that. Oh, well, kind of chicken down. Um, I find this chicken really, really thick. I'm going to actually try cutting it in half like a butterfly, but that might not work out as well as I hope. Actually, I'm probably going to just leave it as is because I think it's going to be too thin if I do butterfly on it. You know, if you come over to my house, I'll let you use my stupid chicken hammer. I have one too, Josie. I don't... I could pound, pound a little bit thinner. I didn't want to. Mainly because I would have to clean more stuff afterwards and... After last week's episode, I was exhausted. Let's just say we live streamed that episode. Took about an hour and twenty minutes. It took from start to finish. Um, if you exclude out the countdown timer at the very beginning of it, as well as the uh, we have a brief we didn't have a brief intermission, did we? We just had we had a little bit of time in there. Yeah, um, Jeff. It sounds like you need to teach Kaylee how to do dishes. Or you just do dishes more often. That's the thing I learned is no. even if you do dishes, you may have to do them every day. Well, I do. I I do mine probably every other day ish. Um, I usually do it while I'm making a pot of coffee in the morning because that is a way to do it. Uh, pot of coffee just cooks takes about or brews takes about ten minutes to do. So even if I have maybe like ten items in the sink, it doesn't take that long. I think I use more silverware than anything else. I learned, especially last week when we were doing um, RSF, I went through a ton of spoons. 
And like I said, I'll have to taste this. And I forgot to taste this before we even start cutting. I don't know. I guess s'mores wine in the window yeah. over there uh, definitely distracted me. And I like how I'm waving a knife around, but I am the only person here, so <laughs> I'm not going to stab anyone with a knife. I mean, I guess I could stab myself somehow with the knife. That would be bad. What's the number to 911 again? Uh, well, you'd have to call my local 911, not yours, if you did that. If I did that. Damn. So you'd have to look up my city one, and then they will be like, uh, what's the emergency? And you'd be like, I live someplace far away, but I was watching a live stream, and my yeah. best friend just stabbed himself with a knife accidentally. Yeah. Something I'm not going to do. So, yeah, I mean, since I'm, dishes are his life. So, I mean, if you see this, it's probably cut into, like, three-quarter inch by three-quarter inch. I'm still leaving this as a strip, so it'll still be probably about uh, two uh, bites to get through. But I think this would be about the right size for the orange chicken. Uh, I didn't want too small because, well, I don't know. Too small is kind of annoying, I feel like. I think having a little bit larger, but still manageable. You know. It's manageable as a thing. I guess it's a spare word. The last week's ones were so big that they were not manageable. You had to, like wrap your mouth around it in a certain way to actually get get to eating it and chewing at it. it, was just, it was well, you should imagine you were at a certain restaurant that has an animal theme name and if they were to cut their chicken, cut it about the same size. Yes. I think I probably said uh, Panda Express here. <laughs> I remember though uh, the one we used to go to before there was Panda one in Excess? our... Yeah, I remember it was, uh, the, uh, what was it, the, the P burnt out in it, and it's like a couple of letters, and they had the R, so it looked like Panda yeah. XS, it was hilarious, I remember that. Yeah. It was like then that for a while, too. there was the dead panda, which was sometimes the not-so-dead panda. Yeah, I remember that, that one, uh, driving there on my lunch break when I lived, or lived and worked in that area, used to meet up, like, what, every Friday before you, either before or after you went to your, uh, volunteer job? Yeah. Uh. So I'm just going to continue chopping this up. Orange sauce is still simmering away. Rice is simmering away. I really should start using a knife properly, but I'm not going to. <laughs> My fingers are out of the way. That's, that's the key point, right? Yeah. Jeff, you're closer. You're in charge of 911. small pieces here that are scragglers I don't really want to put in there. I'm going to throw those down the drain. Rinse it out a little bit. Oh, crap. So we have, I guess, another pairing suggestion I could have suggested for this episode would have been, uh, what? About, I don't remember when you did, Joseph, but remember you made fried rice one episode? Yeah. I think it was like 2016, I want to say. No. 2016 was the season we cut short. 2015 it was. Sometime in 2015, we made a uh, leftover. If I remember correctly, it was leftover. Uh, like you took a roasted chicken, took over some leftover uh, vegetables, frozen leftover vegetables, leftover chicken, leftover rice, and then took some frozen vegetables, mixed it together, added a little egg to it. I think it was, it came out really good. It came out really well. <laughs> Uh, so that's also something else you could do with this. I did not feel like making orange chicken plus fried rice for this. That would have been way, way, way too much food. You know what? Could have done probably even faster than regular steamed rice. Hmm. Cauliflower fried rice. Yeah, cauliflower fried rice. Cauliflower fried rice would be really good. However, it is something that takes a long... Well, it did take a long time. I just... The, you could have this... bought a bag of frozen cauliflower rice. I could have. The thing is, is the entire everything. I didn't I haven't gone shopping since the last time I did this. I, everything I have has been in this house, which is lucky because that's not always the case. And I know I need to go grocery shopping here pretty soon because I am running low on stuff. I do have like five and a half pounds of hamburger meat in my freezer and like another pound and a half of chicken, so I have things to eat. It's just. When you open up everything, you're like, uh, it looks empty. Yeah. 
I'm gonna give a taste of this orange sauce right now. Um, hopefully without burning myself. Just over the uh, sink here. Ooh, it's really good. I think it's actually the right sweetness too. It doesn't need any more uh, sugar added to it. So about a quarter cup is the right amount for it. Um, let's switch this camera. Uh, ooh, slowness. You can see it's kind of loose. It's not a sauce yet, so I'm definitely going to be adding in a cornstarch slurry into that in just a little bit. But right now, uh, I'm going to let it continue to simmer for a little bit. I continue developing the flavors. What the heck? Ooh, that is really good. Uh, this one is definitely warm up now. I'm going to switch burners here. Oh, you're going to complain at me. Switch burner so I can now bring out the larger skillet. Oh. Oh. That's the time for the rice, and it is not done yet. It is definitely not done. I will check in again in about 10 minutes. Uh, it's 10 seconds. I hate the... So the microwave needs seconds at the end of it. The oven does not. So sometimes I put the oven at like 50 hours or something stupid on there instead of 50 minutes. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, I still don't get that whole entire thing. Okay, so I'm gonna add to my pan here, probably about a half inch of oil. I don't want to cover the chicken itself. We aren't doing like deep fat frying. We're just doing like a, a pan fry on it. Uh, that will require though that we do flip it halfway through the cooking cycle. And we're gonna aim for about 350 degrees on this oil. If you do have a deep fat fryer, you can still do it in that. Um, it said it's about 350. Drop in there and take about two to three minutes to cook it, depending on how thick you cut your chicken. I'm gonna actually turn up the heat on this one to about medium high. Let this come to temperature, and as it does that, I'm going to move my chickeny knife someplace else. It's not in the middle of the road. Uh, and then I'm going to try to damage it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move on to making the breading station for this. So the breading for this is we're going to do a, I guess, what would you call it? Three step process. We're going to take the chicken. We're going to dust in flour. We're going to throw it in an egg wash. Once it comes out of the egg wash, we're going to throw it in cornstarch. And then once it's done and the oil's come to temperature, we'll throw it in the oil. Uh, the amount we have here probably about take about two, possibly three uh, frying cycles. We don't want to overcrowd the pan and drop the oil temperature too quick on it. So we're going to just do some batches just so that we can actually make sure the oil doesn't lose any of that heat or as much heat. Ooh. I'm just going to get the cornstarch. And flour. Flour is one of those things that's been really, really hard to get, I've noticed. I've ordered flour yeah. so many times. And... Luckily, I mean, I've had this small bag for, well, I got this, I think, right before the shelter in place happened. And luckily, it's lasted me a while. I've made a few different things with it. I think the main thing I made with this is I made banana bread. And then I made banana bread again, but I had cake flour left over, so I used cake flour instead of regular all-purpose flour for it. I did... Is that the one you bought in, like, um, February? This one? Yeah. I think I got this uh, early March. Mm. Yeah, refused, my delivery person came home with uh, almond flour. I do have whole wheat flour, which I actually wanted to get both whole wheat flour and all-purpose flour, because I bet you could probably guess why I want both, Josie. Because that's how you usually make whole wheat bread? Okay, whole wheat bread, yes, but I wanted to make sourdough bread. I wanted to use... Uh, I think, was it Bon Appetit um, that did sourdough bread? Or I know Benji with Babbage did sourdough bread. I wanted to try their recipe, but I know um, uh, Bon Appetit Claire also made. did it. Claire, Claire made and bread. Sourdough? Okay, was yeah. Was it Claire or Claire and bread? No, Brad and Claire made sourdough donuts? donuts? Yes, they made sourdough donuts. Oh. Jeff says they couldn't find... Well, we just uh, have been able to find TP. And paper towels. Um, so I got also, lucky we on that. Find vanilla. I got. I have a lifetime supply. A vanilla. 
Yeah. Toilet paper, yes, has been really, really hard to get. Like, I had issues finding it in every store I went to during this. I got, I was lucky. There was a website. I don't remember what the website was called. I wish I could find it again, but it was a website that basically checked the inventories of every online website you could possibly think of. And I just managed to get to that website at the right time, and it said Walmart.com had toilet paper available. So I clicked on the link, ordered it. There was only three left in stock when I ordered it, and luckily I was able to get it. Because I was down to, like, the last quarter of a roll, and that's all I had left in the house. Um, so luckily I was able to get that. Uh, paper towels, I was able to luckily get a little bit later on. And now this is the weirdest thing of this paper towel. So you know you have select a size, which makes, you know, sizes like this. This also is select a square. I've never I'm seen this before. You, it's it was, because it cool. our generation killed the napkin business. By and using paper towels so... instead. I mean, this is like the right size for a napkin. I mean, when I have some Chips Ahoy's cookies in the middle of the night, I will put those on a small square and just use that as my napkin. Um, instead of using a plate, because the only plates I have are these large plates. These are the only plates I have, and this is ridiculous to do anything on. So I try using as few plates as possible. Mm. I think Jeff is amazed by the fact yeah. that, these, that these paper towels can be ripped into half. Okay, the what? Okay, this is me being OCD. I'll admit that I have some OCD in this. Some. I mean, a lot, probably. Some? The squares aren't exactly the same size. That bugs me. I don't know why. It just bugs me. Uh, what paper towel is that, I'm guessing? It is... Whew! Um, I can tell you in a second. Let me just go this way. It's over here, hiding in a box. It is brawny. Brawny paper towels does that. And I ordered that also for more. Quicker picker upper? Is it brawny? I thought that was uh, Mr. Clean. No. I just don't know my brand names, I guess. Hm. Yeah, because you also didn't know. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com The worst I know... <laughs> I love how that just feels like it's out of context, but what, what were we doing the other day about that? What, I what have no about, idea. There was something that came up, I think it was on the live stream, one of the live streams we did, and it was just like... Something came up, it was this laugh. We were laughing at it. Yeah. Uh, I think Jeff says it's Bounty. That is Brawny. He, he, it's missing yeah. letters, so I don't even know. <laughs> um. Um, I was about to make the dredge. That's what I was trying to do. I'm like, what am I doing? I've, I've come off the rails a little bit in this episode, but I, it's fine. I actually enjoy this. I'm having a good time. Last week, I had a good time doing it. I felt like there were so many issues with last week's episode, but this week, smooth sailing. Let's just say smooth sailing, yeah. minus the fact that, you know, I had to do the intro again. I said some weird things in the intro, and the fact that I was muted during the intro, and we decided to do it over again, and then I guess the intro kicked off again because I forgot to hide the frame of it in the uh, edit. So let's see. Oh, yeah, they got that. Still jerk, herky jerky a little bit, but we'll see. One second. I need some wine. Why not, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh, I need some more wine. I just finished my seltzer. Well, what would be nice to do also with this series is at some point come up with paired drinks to go with this. You know, paired yeah. cocktails, but uh, I mean, I had two options tonight. Wine or gin and tonic. Those are the two options I had. Yeah. Uh, I would have been gin and tonic with lime because I didn't have any lemons, which I guess I could use lemon juice instead of lime. Or, but, you know, it works out either way around it, right? Well, yeah, they're both disgusting. Oh, gin and tonic's good. I, it's funny, mm. when we did the first season of Mini Bar, how... I mean, we made drinks. Much we made classic alcohol drinks. Alcohol gave my brother? Yeah, we didn't... Some of the alcohol... Some of the drinks were not great. I still don't care for bourbon too much, honestly. It's very... I just don't like the taste of oak. The flavors of the oak co compounds come out of, like, bourbons and scotch, things like that. I just don't like the, the flavor of the wood. Um, 
my sauce is still uh, simmering over here. It's slowly evaporating. It looks oh. good. I'm actually going to add to my sauce right now just so it gives a little bit of heat. The uh, red pepper flakes right now. All right, it'll rehydrate a little bit. And once again, if you just joined us and didn't realize it, yes, I am using pizza uh, <laughs> red pepper flakes. So that had, that's one of the things I couldn't get in store. I ordered it multiple times and I could not get it in store. I'm gonna add two packets to it. That should be about half teaspoon if you have some at home. I uh, think about each one's about a quarter teaspoon. I don't think exact measurement. I didn't measure it out. I just threw it in there. We're gonna let that simmer along and add some nice spice to the sauce itself. Okay, back to the cooking. Uh, that's what this show's Star Wars. about. Epic Spell Wars was another game we played. Yes, that was another game. Did you just go on like the Twitch channel or something? No. Like... I saw a boss monster out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, ah, similar. Similar, but different in a way. So I have on here some flour, but I have about half a cup of flour. The flour that is not going to be used on here will get trashed. Do not reuse the flour, because we're about to put raw chicken into it. No. And there goes the timer again for the. I don't know, you probably make rice. cat treats out of it. I mean, I guess as long as it's cooked, right? Yeah. As long as it's cooked, it should be safe. Our rice is about done. I still see here a little bit of water going at the bottom of it. Let this sit a little bit longer. Ooh, is that from uh, a birthday party leftover? Are you talking about chat? No? No, I'm talking about the corn oh! You're talking about this cornstarch right here. Uh, yes. This is leftover cornstarch from, uh, roommate's daughter's, what was that? Eighth? Seventh birthday Nine, party? Nine? Seven? Eight. Eighth? Something. Jeff, eight. correct this in the chat, please. If you're still here, Because last year didn't do anything. And then it was the year before. Yes, that, that is definitely leftover cornstarch. It was unopened. I, you didn't get to see it on camera because I opened it off camera, but it was unopened. I just put the aluminum foil portion in the trash can. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna dump some out on here. So I guess the question probably comes down to oops, change camera again. Why use cornstarch for the breading? Uh, hmm. I think it gives a different consistency and crunch to it than regular wheat flour does. Uh, I used cornstarch before on pan frying uh, tofu. So some ow. crispy tofu. Did you say ow or ew? I said ow. I just hit myself in my face with my laptop. That's, that's sad. Um, but I do like the crunch that the cornstarch gives. It's a little bit crispier, I feel like, on the long run. Uh, the oil is pretty warm. I am going to totally use a meat thermometer that does go up to a high of temperature on it because it says, it used to say on here, I don't where it said it. Uh, it did say support temperature set high, so 350. I just want to make sure I'm not going too high. I should I have a candy thermometer? Do I have a candy thermometer? I think I have a candy thermometer, right, Josie? We had one at one point. Oh, I have one still. It's just the oil's too low to actually use a candy thermometer. 260, 270, 275. It's gonna hold the oil up so it's not as. I think we've got a little bit more to go because it's hovering about 280 degrees. It's still going up very slowly, but it's not fully up to the temperature I'm looking for, which is. Uh, in the neighborhood of 350 degrees. I'll let that go. I'm going to start breading the first batch of chicken right now so I can cook that off. Uh, before I start breading it, I need a couple eggs. So let me pull out some eggs. Let me switch over to that camera. I might reboot that camera. Because it is going ridiculously slow. Let me redo that again. I feel like half the battle is 
always the B cam. Last week it was definitely the camera issue, right? Yeah. The camera, the it was on a tablet. The tablet crashed and rebooted two times during the live stream. Today it's just a. Uh... Oh, Ronnie asked if I had earplugs in. Uh, fiance's asking. He's I guess watching along too. Uh, heads up. Oh. Hello. I don't know if he's watching still, but he might be here. Well, there's five people watching. I'm one. I'm assuming Jeff is another. He's obviously not the Mistaken what? Brothers anymore. Well, he's only chatting through Jeff. Well, he was chatting through the Mistaken Brothers for a bit there. Yeah. Uh, it's still herky-jerky. I, I am seriously probably putting my my home network underneath the strain from doing this live stream because it's taking footage from my laptop. I think I explained this last week, but it's going from my laptop all the way over via Ethernet cable all the way upstairs to be encoded and sent to YouTube on my desktop. So adding a little up, another webcam, webcam, put air quotes around that, via Wi-Fi is definitely causing an issue here because that is just the data. The amount of data getting pushed back and forth is ridiculously high. Oh, the heater, uh, the AC just kicked on. Cool down the house a little bit. So I'm going to add to oh, my... The Miss and Brothers are back. <laughs> what about <laughs> us? <laughs> anyway, to the... I have a pie dish here. I'm going to add about two eggs into this. Uh, the general rule of thumb is you probably want an egg per chicken breast. So if you're doing multiple chicken breasts, and you maybe say you multiplied your orange sauce by two, and you're doing four breasts, uh, you want to use four eggs. I'm going to use two. Uh, if you're using just one, turn off that timer. Uh, if you're using just one chicken breast for this, you may still want to use two eggs. Uh, I've learned that you know using how they. Let me say that again. <laughs> I've learned that having only one egg in such a wide surface area like this, it's really hard to cut the chicken. So I used two eggs. Um, a couple weeks ago, I made uh, chicken parmesan, parmesan chicken for dinner and I had to use two eggs for it. And that's actually something we might want to do on a future episode. But I think if we do another episode next week, we should probably stick away from chicken because that'd be three weeks in a row for chicken, right, Josie? Give some variety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, what else is there? I mean, we could do something with beef, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. We never did, sh is, was, I know you have access to it. Can you check the list? Was beef stroganoff on that list to do? Yes. Okay, so maybe we could do that. Do my beef stroganoff recipe? Um, the Mistaken Brothers would like some orange chicken, which is okay, but they only are allowed to eat it with a um, crunch trap. See, that thing is that was the Mistaken Brothers channel that I was on. That was my channel. That was my YouTube yeah, channel we did that on. Ah, uh, yes. It was, it was the predecessor to the Mistaken Brothers. It was. I will admit that one. Kind of demolished your shell on that egg, so luckily <laughs> it's not on camera. And I'm not gonna switch to the other camera right now because it is out of view. So there's no point to switch to the other camera. I'd rather just keep on a cam. Um, so I'm cracking a couple eggs into my pie dish here. Trash eggshells, one second. Um, we're gonna mix that together, scramble it up, and we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of water just to thin it out a little bit. Um, basically, this is here to help the cornstarch adhere to the final product. And this oil is now, I think, up to temperature. It's pretty warm over my hand, so I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Uh, Meanwhile, my orange sauce is still simmering way over here. Making sure it's not burning or anything. There is sugar in this. Um, but it's at such a low simmer that we shouldn't have any caramelization happen inside there. You should know. You officially started streaming 69 minutes ago. Did you wait specifically to say I've been live for an hour and 54 seconds? Hour and nine minutes, 54 seconds, sorry. Um, no. You just waited. I just said to that? started streaming 69 minutes ago. Yes. I thought it said 59, but then I looked again. Well, I think we're right on task, which with the uh, right on par with our previous episode, which is, I think, like I said last week, we're aiming for probably about an hour, hour and a half on each episode, and I think we're about to hit that. I mean, we'll hit that probably today easily. So I just added about two tablespoons of water to this, maybe a little bit more. I kind of just eyeballed it. 
uh, to thin down the egg mixture. Well, we could do what I want to do, which is we could stream the seventh continent for 20 hours straight. That would take forever. Yeah. I don't think I have Dude. enough space to do that. I, not space. Like, I, so I didn't do it last week. Um, when we stream to Twitch, I do download the episodes afterwards. So I have local copies of it because the Twitch, unfortunately, does not keep your episodes around forever. They will, since I have Twitch Prime, not Twitch Prime, I have Amazon Prime, which then converts into Twitch Prime. Uh, I get access to having, I think it's 60 day retention on my videos, but after that, they just get deleted. So I keep backups of those videos uh, on my local PC. So if I ever want to look back at them and either cringe or be like, dang, I lost audio at the wrong point in time. True fact, it happened when we played a game of life. Um, yeah. That allows us to do, uh, allows me to go back to it. I can make high re highlight reels, post the whole thing to YouTube if I wanted to. Whereas this on YouTube has the ability to last there forever until at least I hit the delete button or I go and trim something out of it, which I did that last week. I actually trimmed down the stream. So it was lost the counter at the very front of it. Um, so we weren't doing the five minute countdown anymore. And I trimmed the end of it uh, just to make it a little bit easier to digest. I mean, it was still an hour and 20 minutes in the end of it, but made it a little bit easier to watch or wine time. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get some gloves, so I don't have to keep on washing my hands. Cause I have gloves, so why not, right? Yeah. Remember, club hand and charging hand. Yes. Well, I only no. need one one glove in reality, but I'll probably need club. Why was it club hand and like clean hand? Yeah. Um. Actually, I'm going to use both of them because of, I don't want odd number of uh, odd number of gloves and be... I've washed my hands Probably so much. Little, I've washed my hands so much in like the last hour of streaming that like my... I even just, in general, my hands are just so dried out from washing them. Granted, I probably could be using, oh, yeah. you know, some nicer soap instead of using dish soap 90% of the time, but I just am. Okay, so... I'm going to take some of this chicken right here. I'm going to add it to the flour. Actually, let me do that if I can. Uh, I think the video is too slow. I don't know, it's herky jerky. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems to be working a little bit. So I'm going to have bread or flour. I guess it's part of the breading process, right, Josie? Some of the chicken yeah. and this flour mixture here. I am going to have a dry hand and a wet hand, as Josie said. Don't want club hand. If you ever watch Good Eats, Alton Brown basically talks about it a lot, which is you want a hand that is dry so that when you touch it and bread it, it is breaded. You throw that into your wet mixture, and then you don't want to use the same exact hand on removing from the mm. egg mixture because it will just basically get stuck with all of the flour. Uh, which turns to very clumpy hands. Now those clumpy hands are, well, messy, hard to deal with. What's a better word for it, Josie? They're just annoying. It's not. Yeah. They have to touch everything else with it, so. Plus, you get more breading on your finger than. Yeah, you do get a lot of breading on your finger, and I feel like it sticks more to it. Yeah. Right? Like, I feel like, oh, it sticks a lot more to your your breaded hand than it's supposed to. Yeah. So the point of this is, is that we're going to build up a layer of breading on the chicken. Now, obviously, you could drop it, like, imagine if you dropped it straight into the eggs first. It wouldn't really do anything because of the fact that, um, well... The egg doesn't have anything to stick to. Yeah, so the egg adheres to the flour, the flour adheres, or the, then the, the uh, corn starch is going to adhere to the egg, so it kind of like builds up the breading on it. You could technically do this multiple times. I've done it multiple times. You could technically also dredge this in if you're doing some other dish, like let's just say if we did do chicken parmesan in a future episode or a live stream, uh, you could have this be dredged into uh, breadcrumbs right after it. 
So you could have, it's got flour all over my keyboard. <laughs> you could just keep doing that and stretching it. Uh, I'm gonna flip, this is the harder part. <laughs> Which hand do you flip it in, Josie, you think? On the, the cornstarch. Dry hand or wet hand? That loose what? Josie? Oh, I so say, what hand do you think you flip, you, you dredge it in? Dry hand or wet hand in the, on the cornstarch side? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna do a mixture of both, just because I know it's gonna cause some stickiness, but luckily, like I said, since I'm using gloves, it will not stick that badly. Um, I think the other reason I like cornstarch also for breading is not only the crispiness it gets, but also it seems to seems to adhere a lot better than flour because it's so, so much thinner. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to start frying these. A couple uh, minutes per side. Or a couple minutes total, sorry, not a couple minutes per side. That would, that would be overdried burnt chicken. And we all know that dry chicken is not good. Eats? I didn't say eats, but yes, it's not good to eat to have um, dry chicken. So I'm doing about two minutes per Two to three minutes total. Turn off the oven over there for the brown rice because it is definitely done by now. You you're gonna turn going? off the oven for the brown rice? Stove, sorry, yes, you're right. Pick up some more chicken over here. I'm gonna use my chickeny hand, doesn't really matter because they're both chickeny. And we're gonna continue brown, uh, breading chicken. You know what I forgot to do, Josie? So I'm gonna have to pull off these gloves okay. to do here in a second. What do you think I forgot to do? Put salt in something. Uh, I forgot to put a landing pad. So I don't have a, uh, a place to put the chicken when it comes out of there. So let me just use the gloves. Get another plate out. Uh, and get the chicken ready for landing. Chickens can barely fly. You might want to hurry up. I don't think my oil was 100% up to temperature because it's not turning golden brown yet, so I might have to leave this in a little bit longer, which is going to definitely oil log them, possibly. Which is not good either, but... Rather have slightly oily chicken than undercooked chicken, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so well, orange sauce is reduced down a little bit. It's actually kind of thickened up a little bit. I'm gonna add so to its slurry in a little bit here. Uh, I'm gonna turn off both those actually. Might try see if I can do this camera over here or not. It's too slow, but. I kind of see the orange sauce, it's a little bit thickened up in there. I can figure out where the camera's at. There it is. It's gonna make some delicious, delicious chicken. Let's check out the chat. Nothing new is coming chat. <laughs> nope. Jeff this or sorry, the Mistaken Brothers. I like just assume it's Jeff. <laughs> this says we want some um, more chicken too. I mean, I'm gonna guess there's a possibility of him putting um, a kid to nap time slash taking dogs for a walk. It's possible he might be doing that. It is about that time. Slash starting homework. Okay, so these ones might not come out that dark, which is kind of sad. Uh, I will check the temperature of the. Though. What was that? They're like pancakes. The first batch is never, never as good. True. I'll be just a little bit of browning happening on here. Let me see if I can pull this out and do that. Might be herky jerky a bit, but there's a little bit of color happening on. Not much. They're still pretty pale. Um, they're fried. I mean, they look... Halfway decent. I mean, if this was a fryer, I think we said this in previous episodes, which is the fact that 
the first fry of an oil is never going to be as dark as it will be for subsequent fries. Haha, <laughs> I am skilled. Um, what did you do? The mistaken brothers just put Sky to bed. <laughs> you just it's know like the entire I know process. their schedule. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, it's different than what it was before, so. And my hair is yeah. literally getting in my face. Next week, maybe I should do my hair. <laughs> yeah, I just put a, uh, one of those, like, elastic hair bands so that the hair on the back of my head, like, gets lifted up so it's not sitting on my neck. I would totally put a hair band in my hair, but I've already been threatened if I have a man bun that I'll lose all my hair. So, not doing that. I'll just rather have my hair flop in my face. I guess um, I do Charlie have a... Has a what? Charlie uh, has a has brony. No, he has a brony tail. A brony tail? Is that what yeah. they call men with ponyta uh, ponytails now? Yeah. Okay, so I... Going back to food now. I'm going to check one of the larger pieces of chicken. See if it is 160. Oh, it's done. <laughs> it's way beyond that. I'm going to pop this chicken out. It is a little pale, unfortunately, but I'd rather have pale chicken than dried out chicken. So we all know that dried out chicken yeah. destroys your teeth, it feels like. I guess it's a good way to get a jaw workout, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put drain on a piece of paper over here, Crypto. I'm going to continue frying right now. I am like all over the place right now. What is this? Our rice is done, though. That is a shocker. I was expecting the rice to be done by the end of the episode, but I guess I guess we have been streaming for a while. I mean, according to YouTube... 82 um, minutes. Yeah, 120, uh, 1 hour, 22 minutes, 36 seconds. Subscribe some more uh, gloves. Uh, that being said, we probably might actually be doing four batches of chicken instead of three. Because there's still a lot of meat over there. What are you doing, Josie? I think so if, if I sing um, end of the year songs, it might trick my body into thinking it's cooler than it actually is. Because, you know. With my parents working from home, it means I don't get to turn the air conditioner on. Is your dad still watching? He's going to be like, you turn on the AC while we're gone? Is that he's about to say that, right? Uh, I don't think he's watching. Oh, I think he I gave think up? I you're watching, yeah. Oh, no. We're losing no well, we still have, uh, we, we keep on bouncing around in viewers. Yeah. I, mean, I guess we have been chit-chatting a lot more than we did last week, I feel like, but I'm slowly clicking, right? Yeah. It's not you know, impossible. I need, to, I need to convince them to go back to Tahoe. I thought they were going to be in Tahoe this weekend. No. I thought that was the whole point of, like, come over and break <laughs> break no. the law to help uh, set up and, well, not set up, but be technical director no, for I your live stream. No, I mostly just wanted a place with air conditioning. Oh, you just wanted AC. I see yeah. what I'm used for. I'm just used for AC at this point in time. Yeah. Honestly, though, I just turned on the AC about last night. Um, because it was um, hot. And then there's also, somehow, I need to go, I didn't do this yet, and Rodney said I didn't have a violent tendency, apparently, this. there's a, someone took something from Lowe's, there's one of those little anti-theft devices out in the middle of the street someplace behind the house, that was going off last night, making a bunch of noise the point where I was like trying to sleep with my window open to keep the house cool so I had to have the AC running and it was annoying <laughs> to the point where like I need to go out there and hunt it down and smash it with a hammer so it's not making a noise anymore because yeah I didn't want I don't want that noise in the middle of the night hmm. okay so let's see okay so we have almost all of the chicken, we have half chicken basically breaded. I'm gonna finish breading off the uh, chicken I put in the cornstarch into this and I'll put it in a fryer here in just a few moments. Okay, 
fan for these. Once again, like I said before, a few minutes total, two to three minutes. Uh, this oil seems very cooled off now. I should probably turn back up the heat. Not too much though. So. <laughs> Let's see. Just checking chat. No yeah. new chats. This is why um, a dedicated like fryer, like electric fryer, are good because they like control the temperature and keep it where you want it. Yeah, uh, it is nice to have that. I they're just so big. I feel like they're humongous. Yeah. They take up a lot of space. Honestly, you use them a handful of times. And then that's it. Not a handful of times. You use them enough to be like, oh, yay, it's... I made fried food. Then you have it, and you're like, that's cool. And then you don't use it for months on end. And then you have to, have to replace the oil in it because it's been sitting there forever. Or you uh, just get rid of it altogether. And the thing is, the oil just seems to get very gummy after a few fries, too. You know what I mean, Josie, on that? Yeah. Like it, gets, it gets really thick on there. Yeah. But also, I like electric Skittles for me. Electric. Oh, it's so like using like griddle. a. It's like what, when Jeff and I did on the Mistaken Brothers, the pancake art, those things. Yeah. I guess the I other like thing you can use is. I like using pancakes because, like, once again, it keeps the heat consistent and you don't have yeah. to fight with the burner. I guess the other option that I didn't think of for this entire thing that would work really well too is an induction burner. Because those, most of those you could actually set a temperature on it to be set to. They yeah. have their own built-in thermostats. So that would actually work really well too. Yeah. A countertop induction burner. Mm-hmm. Mm those you need special pans for though, right? Yes, yeah, so you need pans that are ferrous, which means they are magnetic, so you can basically to test it out, you just put a magnet to it, if the magnet sticks to it, you're good to go. If they aren't ferrous, they won't do the dang thing. I'm gonna take off the gloves. Oh, one, after I put the chicken on here, I'm gonna take off the gloves one last time, because I don't need them on as much anymore. I'll just do the last batch by hand, and unfortunately have to deal with the club hand, but I want to make sure I could flip this chicken in time without having to get the Kongs all covered in flour and cornstarch and all other stuff, so. Lose a couple more gloves. Okay, let's flip the chicken. Honestly, I'm probably cooking my chicken a few moments too long in this. It might be slightly dried out on mine. I'm hoping not, but we will see. But that's where, like you said, Josie, that having the ability to have, um, like a fryer, or heck, even a candy thermometer would work really nice here, but I didn't want to use a ton of oil for this. Matter of fact, when I'm done doing this, I'm going to have to like, air out my house because it smells like oil in here. Oh, Bob just said it's not that hot here, Josie. He is a liar. <laughs> it, I don't know. It, it's like, it's warm enough here to have the AC on, but it's also set to like, actually, I think it's set to 77 right now. But it's only kicked on a couple times since we've been filming. So, it's not that bad. Okay, so while that is heating up, I'm gonna add to the pot here. I'm gonna bring this back to a, a little bit of a simmer uh, cause I turned it off a little while ago to keep it from thinning down all the way. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of water and a couple tablespoons of cornstarch. Maybe a tablespoon, maybe not that much. To help thicken up a little bit more. It is starting to thicken up though, um, but we just want a little bit thicker. So it clings to the chicken when it is done. Turn it back to low. I'm going to actually fluff the rice at the same time because I don't want soggy rice by the end of it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's try doing the uh, B camera again. Oh, it's so jerky, but yeah, you can see the nice fluffy rice there. 
do like some brown rice. It is probably one of my favorite rices. I, white rice is okay, but I like the uh, nutty flavor that brown rice has to it. Yeah. Left it a bit, let some of that moisture absorb, absorb into it. It, it sticks to the spoon, uh, the fork a little bit. Mmm. Good though. Okay, like before, I am going to check the temperature of one of these pieces of chicken. <sighs> to make sure it is the right temperature. It says it's about 160. Carry over heat will carry it the rest of the way. Last five degrees, so I'm going to evacuate these from the oil. And only two more batches to go, Josie. Yay! What are you guys having for dinner tonight? I don't know. I had the buckhorn for lunch. Oh, buckhorn. Uh, do you actually yeah. have the original buckhorn in winters? No. No, but I drove by it. Because she had the one in uh, Vacaville? Yeah, the fake one. Uh, I don't know if it's, I mean, I guess it's the same uh, ingredients, right? Everything's the same? It's just not really. Not the original? Oh, it's different? I've never actually been yeah. to Buckhorn. The one in Vacaville is a Buckhorn barbecue. So it's like more barbecue food. Okay. Versus the one in Winners, which is like just classic steakhouse. So, I mean, I guess there could be a difference. I guess when you're barbecue, I guess you could do more like uh, quick service style things, like pulled pork and ribs. Like, I guess a steakhouse would have yeah. more like steaks and things like that. Yeah. Like some filet mignons and things like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm going to risk the club hand, Josie. I'm going to have to risk it because I don't want to use more gloves for this, so... I switched hands, too, which is kind of annoying, but we'll see. I guess we go like this and try get the camera again just to see how it works. It's too unbearable to watch. I might switch it back. What is that noise? Me being bored. You're bored? I mean, obviously. And having two pens in front of me. Well, we are nearly there. Like 10 more minutes and I'll be wrapping up this video. It's episode. I'm just still shocked that I was I was half expecting at some point in time the uh, the uh, tablet to die or not die but quit working. Yeah. And if the tablet to quit working, then we would have lost the audio. I would have lost connection to you. You still been able to talk, and it would have been going to the stream. But I don't want to hear a thing. Yeah. Okay. Dust this chicken in some uh, cornstarch here. Put it in the fryer. Uh... So right now, I guess we're just mainly frying off chicken, and then we're going to add some cornstarch slurry to the corn sauce here in a few moments. Then we will be done. I guess we got to cut up some garnish too. Got to garnish it with a little bit of green onion. The guy be gourmet, right? I mean, we're not clear. This isn't gourmet mix. Exactly. We are not going to eat. We're on the smaller exactly. shelf. Exactly. I still have you got a chance to watch the latest episode where she made uh, hash, uh tater tots? No. Oh, it's good. I liked it. I, I, I'm honestly surprised I watched it before you did. Oh, I saw it before you. I just had other yeah. things to watch. Because it did answer a few questions of, like, that I have. Because, like, I, li I, I like the idea of making, like, I guess one of the things I probably would try at home. Yeah. Well. I mean, I would try to uh, make those at home. Yeah. It's probably one of the few things I'd say I would try at home making gourmet makes. It's not 
it wasn't necessarily easy per se, but like the idea of oil poaching potatoes was cool. Yeah. Um, Pop tarts was pretty easy. Um, I want to say. I still think though, after all the, after watching all the episodes I've watched of those, um, the fact that. The fact that, uh, Every single time I watch one of those videos, I just want to eat whatever she's making. Like, I really sit down, it's like, oh, she's making insert X, Y, Z here, and go buy some so I can eat it while watching, because I just get hungry watching those videos. Yeah. Which I guess is kind of interesting to say. Yeah. The Same. only one was combos. That was, was weird to me. But that might be an East Coast thing. I've never heard of them. I've never heard of combos before that episode. And they, they made it sound like you could get them everywhere. They're a gas station staple and all sort of stuff. I mean, I've seen them at gas stations. They just have never looked appetizing. Okay. Uh, never looked appetizing, huh? Yeah. Well. <laughs> you see the chat? Yep. <laughs> Did that cause you to yawn again? Nope. It's freaking hot. I get sleepy when it's hot. Well, we are, like I said, almost done. Uh, the orange sauce is coming back up to temperature. I'm going to add in a little bit of water and cornstarch. Make it a little bit thicker. I'm gonna thin it down by adding the water and thicken it up by adding the cornstarch. So this makes absolutely well, it makes sense. But... No, a slurry is cornstarch and water. Yes. So you need to turn it into some oobleck. Yeah, that's what we used this for originally. Was making oobleck. Yeah. There was a lot of oobleck made that day. Yeah. Like to the point where, like, I think if anyone, if anyone is a, uh, there was a YouTube channel. I think we made like a YouTube channel's worth of oobleck. Oh, like a slime channel's worth of. Yeah. Yeah. Worth of another plate. I am out of space on my current plate. I guess it's my my fault for making so much orange chicken. I should use a tray, a baking tray. Yeah. Oh. Baking sheet. I could use upside down, I guess a cooling rack too to put them on top of those. Those might be a little soggy on the bottom, but. Yeah, awesome. I know they're the same owners, but it's still different food. Joe's are replying to comments and chat. Mm -hmm. Versus, you know, walking three feet out of my room and yelling that. Out the, out the door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, last batch of chicken is now getting breaded. It will go with the, the pan frying. Bought fries. I will chop up some green onion, and then we will toss everything together and serve it with the brown rice. And then we will be done with this episode, Josie. Yeah. Only took like longer than last week's episode. Ninety-nine minutes so far. I did not expect the video to be to be this long, but I guess I guess timing is one of the things you did. Oh, you've yeah. made it before. I've never made it before. Uh, I guess in the past when we've done episodes, we've always kind of assumed like, oh, it's gonna take insert X amount of time here to film an episode. Then all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, we use Jeff timing when we um, plan out how long episodes are gonna take. Yeah, no one I, besides Jeff and maybe a couple of people in the chat might know what that is. Or we use HelloFresh timing. 
Oh yeah, this should only yeah. take 30 minutes. Oh, fresh timing is weird. They say 30 minutes, but then it never takes 30 minutes. It takes like a neighborhood yeah. of like way too many minutes to make. Say, um, for the four person serving, I can usually get them done in like 45 minutes to an hour. Well, even the two person serving that I was doing when I did HelloFresh there for a little bit of time just to have the ability to have, uh, you know, meals basically ready because of doing school and all that at the same time. It's really hard to eat a decent meal without it being, you know, Taco Bell or Carl's Jr. or something. Uh, that was definitely one of the things that took a while. That was easy to make, but they say, oh, it's 35 minutes. It's 35 minutes of cooking, maybe, but as soon as you add the prep, the prep work to it, you could be like 45 minutes to an hour. It's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Let me stir my orange sauce here a little bit. It is thickened up a bit, but it's starting to boil. And Smells good. Ooh. Spicy. Oh, it's spicy. Heat. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay. Spoon just fell a little bit. Okay. Fry a slash batch of chicken here. So buckhorn owned by split by the same owners. It sounds like. Yeah. Did you go to you so you basically said you went to the nutry one? Yeah. I, I was wonder... gonna go to Habit, but then I changed my mind. Um, I wonder how well they are doing. Not like I care. Um, I drove by. The carousel was closed, the train was closed. Well, obviously, from stay-at-home orders, it's closed, but I was just like, and they probably yeah. won't be opening for a while, but the question is, is like, financially, how are they know. doing? I don't know. Uh, Solano County has said that people, they're going to let people start opening some businesses this weekend. Uh-huh. There we go. Phone dying? Shoot, I did it again. What'd you do? I closed YouTube. Oh. Well. I don't know how you did to keep doing that. I know um, you kept doing it. My computer to touch screen and... Oh. You tap on it accidentally and it is... Yeah. That's fun. My hair is everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I can hear better now. It's got my, knocked out my earbuds. Out. When it's time for a change, think. Speedy oil change? I was going to say, sports clips or wherever the hell you did you go. Yeah, I can go someplace like that. I usually go there. I think it's a sauce. It is very thick now. It's going to stick to the chicken. So, that is good. I am going to actually do... Silitate this using a bowl. I think it's going to be easier. Chicken. I'll have to have a timer going for this because I never. I guess it's part of the thing me cooking too. It's just like, oh, timer, maybe, not really. Well, for some reason, it's only like two to three minutes. By the time you actually get the timer set, it's like. It's so much later than well, that. So even a what's point? the point? Yeah. yeah. I get what you're saying on that one. 
Morris is looking on like, what's going on? <laughs> She's staring at me like, uh... I want what s'mores. Huh? I said, I want s'mores. Everyone wants the food, not the cat. Uh, yeah. Well, for once, she didn't wake me up in the middle of the night like crazy. She's been doing that a lot recently. Yeah. 3.30 in the morning? Hey! You're going to want to be up right now, right? Well, that's your fault. We're going to sleep before 3.30 in the morning. Sorry, but, you know, 3.30 in the morning seems like perfectly way too late to stay up to. I you don't do it anyways. What was that? What? What did you say there? Like you don't like do it you anyways. don't do it anyway. Uh, I try not to. I'll say that. I, there's been days, yes, where I've been up ridiculously late. Yeah. Try going to bed early. Can't always go to bed early, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's pull up the last chicken from the fryer here. I'm going to. Oh, it's like, where'd the other chicken go? I, I literally lost the chicken for a second there. I'm going to spoon over some chicken, uh, some sauce over this chicken. I'm going to give it a toss in the air and see if it, how well it coats it. It may not coat very well. I might have to get out the other, um, the other tongs, they're not covered in fryer oil. Yeah, it's not doing well. Let me put a little bit more in here. Use my other tongs to give it a little bit of toss. Knocking off the breading, no. More sauce in there. I'm gonna chop up some green onion just to put on top, just some garnish with it. Then uh, I'll open that pan with that drawer there, at <laughs> the door there. Nowhere near where any of my cutting boards are. Yeah. You know, from here, that kind of looks more like sweet fire chicken than orange chicken, but I'm okay with it. Not saucy enough? It's, well, it's just yellowier than. Oh, it's because the brighting was a brown. Because of the fact yeah. that it was. Yeah, I wish, I wish it was browner. I do wish it had more browning to it. Uh, it is a problem. Uh, the fact that new oil, like we said, does not always get to full color of darkness on there, but I am definitely later okay with what I'm doing. I was ready. I had the plate ready. <laughs> so I'm gonna spoon out some rice on the top with the orange chicken, and then we will wrap this up fully. So. brown rice, but it's like half a serving of the brown rice. I'm going to put on here some orange chicken. I probably, in this amount right here, made like four servings worth, is my guess. Yeah. This is a lot here. I would not, I'm not eating all this right now. I'm going to save some of this. I'm probably going to put a little bit more on here so that when I take a photo of it, it will not look as bad. <laughs> I'm going to top with a little bit more sauces because I like sauce. The other camera is down, so I'm not going to use that other camera at all. The last thing I'm going to do here is top us in the green onions. And there it is. Let's see if the lights get whatever. 
There it is. Orange chicken. Yummy. Nice and piping hot. And I am going to take a bite of this. This is a... It is a well-deserved treat. Mmm. The orange sauce is very tangy. Good air orange flavor. Woo! Those red pepper flakes give it a little bit of heat. <laughs> Probably, maybe when I actually make this, throw the recipe up for this, cut back a little bit on the red pepper flakes. Anyways, guys, the recipe for this will be in the description in a day or two. Uh, next week, I'm hoping to do another live stream. I don't know what we're going to do yet, uh, but if we do do one, I'll post the link on it. Or, well, we'll post the link for it on the YouTube channel probably Sunday or Monday with the list of ingredients of what we're going to do. Anyways, for this recipe, you can check out our website at readystepfonbeta.tv, where there you can follow us on our social media accounts. Still not 100% active on that, but we will be there hopefully soon. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Eric. I'm Josie. <laughs> thanks for watching. Where's the mute right. button?